well, because my camera guy showed up late, you're in the middle of me beginning the process of um, installing new 529 gears in my 2016 Tacoma. Now, this has been a big talking point for a lot of Tacoma owners because everybody knows this thing's a turd. So, these 529 gears should really, really help out with acceleration and holding that six gear, especially at freeway speeds. Um, I do plan on, I'm running a 33 inch tire now, but I do plan on going up to a 35 inch later. So it's gonna be really important to have the right gear ratio or, or we won't be going anywhere. So um, he's late, thank you, by the way. But I've already taken down my skid plates. I've um, begun to take the wheels off and I've drained my front differential. We're doing front and rear, obviously you can't just replace one at a time. So we'll be draining the rear, taking the tires off, popping the axles out, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so now that you've got your, uh, your wheels and tires off, I always like to do a um, pretty much a, a health check on all my systems, make sure that my, my coilovers aren't leaking or you know my boots aren't busted, any kind of thing like that. And on this particular truck, it looks pretty good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and continue on with getting the tie rod out and um, swinging this out the way while we're moving these two lower control arm bolts so we can get the axles out on each side. So now we're at the part where we need to remove the front axle so we can drop the differential down. Uh, that's pretty simple to do. You'll need to remove your, uh, your tie rod, these two lower control arms, and the 35 or 36 millimeter uh, axle nut in here. This particular truck uh, came with spacers on it. Uh, I, bought it I bought it that way. Uh, and you know, spacers have a, have a history of being a, a point of failure. But in my experience, if they're installed correctly, torqued down right with blue Loctite, uh, you really shouldn't have a problem. Uh, I'm going to replace these with some actual wheels that are the correct offset. But for the time being, they're fine. But in order to get to the axle, we have to take those off. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh. Okay, I don't have to explain this, man. You're just taking a f***ing cotter pin out. Okay, so you're just taking the cotter pin out? Yeah, I'm just gonna take the cotter pin out. And then remove this thing. Easy. Take that off. Now what's hard, if you don't have uh, air tools, is getting this nut off. I think it's some crazy 180 foot pounds. Maybe more than that. I don't know what the torque It's a lot. It's the most on, on any of it. Uh, so, a trick you can use would be to use a uh, big old thick screwdriver or a bar of some sort and just put it in the rotor here so that whenever you turn it it pulls it, the caliper itself is, is helping you to hold the uh, hold the hub in place so you can actually get that nut off go ahead right, right. pow that makes it easy though <laughs> that was actually very easy <laughs> that was like a one, one click i've never just i know Never. This sucker's pretty. Oh. <laughs> this sucker's pretty strong. Well, it's, it's not just that. It's it's a new truck still. <laughs> yeah, it's not rusted on. Oh, hey, Hunter. Hi. I am not doing a video today. So the next thing we're gonna do is. Oh, uh, well, we can't do that yet. We still gotta get the sway bar off because I'm not used to having a sway bar. This is just different for me. So we gotta get this sway bar bolt out so that uh, we can also remove this, finally remove these two bolts and we'll be able to swing this out of the way without having to disconnect all this junk up there. Uh, and then we'll be able to get the axle out, then drop the differential down. Okay. Still a ways to go. Hey, uh, Kevin, I need the keys to the jalopy. I don't have them. That's not a jalopy! <laughs> so usually, um, if you, oh, that's why you don't wear a white shirt. I thought I was gonna be clean, I was wrong. So, um, usually I can pop this off my little electric impact, which is an awesome tool. If you don't have one of these, get one of these. Uh, make your life so much easier. Uh, but this time it started to spin, and so in order to get this uh, thing off, you gotta get yourself a, uh, what size is this? A six millimeter. Uh, wrench here and then a 17 miller on the other side and you can work it off like this instead. So uh, this is a 19 millimeter. Hopefully it comes off easily with this impact uh, because sometimes this thing is kind of a, a pain to get out even with the nut off which you'll, you might see. Yes! Success! You put it up, put down. What? You're gonna put it up, put down, hammer it out? No, no. no recommendation. 
put the nut back on upside down. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yes. Well, I, I usually am able to just smack this sucker and it breaks free. Yeah. Well, we'll try it, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a good first try over potentially ruining. Secondly, I would do the way. Yes. Give it all Maybe. <laughs> Unless try. you bend the bolt like someone did before. I didn't have the nut on enough. Ah, you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Shit, shit, shit. Bad. It's bad sometimes, so you might as well just try the easiest way first. And then go to option two. Yeah, it's, like you, you it's like when Drew Brees. It's like when Drew Brees is checking down the line. What are you thinking about? And he sees he sees a rush coming. But what are you gonna do with that? With what? You still hit it here. That's to protect the stud. Oh, well, I don't miss. Maybe uh, for okay. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Use my hammer that's about to break. No. <laughs> First of all, you get the right tool. <laughs> that's not it. That's not the right one. The heavier, the better. The easiest way to try to get this thing free is to simply hit this um, this casting right here with a larger hammer here, and uh, hopefully that will just pop the uh, the pressure that it's got, the tension on it, because it's a cone fitting here. Nope. Like a man. Yeah. Hmm. Harder. Hmm. It should have popped free. Hey! Yahtzee. I got it for him. Right. Uh, 219s on the bottom here. This is your lower ball. Nope. Little impact that couldn't. One shot. All right, my face. Now, we simply move this out of the way, which will allow us to pop the axle out, pull it from here. I'll have to, you know, give it a little persuasion. And then we'll be able to move this out the way so we can get the axle all the way out. Without doing that, uh, you wouldn't be able to move the axle one way or another. Uh, once again, put the nut over the threads. So you don't end up damaging those. Still, I'm still not over my white shirt. It in or out. Side of the That's hammer. how you use it. Ah. Oh, what did you do that for? <laughs> you did it. This shit, come on. Come on. It's loose. That loose up. Just never mind. Close on it. <laughs> Sometimes they fight you. Okay. I got something for you. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy? No, I was asking the bull in the china shop to be easy. I am not the bull in the china shop. Wrong way. That is just fabulous. Why is there a bull in the china shop? Yeah, right. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> Thanks. Your differential has the right gears now. <sighs> All right, now we do the other side. We'll pop the axles out and then we'll pick back up when I pull the uh, differential down. <laughs> 